Hi everyone. I'm I'm laughing because I've been amusing myself. <laughs> uh, this is Kelly Sparta. This is Spirit Trip Minis, where we go deep on small subjects. Uh, we take deep dives on small subjects. Yeah, that's a ticket. But yeah, I was I was sitting here laughing because today's topic is perseverance, and I started off with perseverance 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 okay yeah yeah but i could go on but you really don't want me to so we are going to be talking about that today not me going on but perseverance <laughs> so the the upshot of uh what i want to tell you today is perseverance <clears throat> is the key to getting through anything if you quit easily, you're going to have a problem in life and in spiritual work because spiritual work can kick your fucking ass all around the room all the time. And if you can't get up off the floor, dust yourself off and be like, okay, what do you got for me now? Then there will be a limit to the amount of work that you get done in your spiritual practice. It's, um, you don't actually have to be the spiritual masochist that I prided myself on being, <laughs> but you do have to be the spiritual firefighter. You have to run into the building that other people run out of to try and figure out why the building's on fire and to set it, you know, to, to put the fire out. So when we talk about this, it is... It is a function of two things, right? There's commitment, which is, and I don't even know what the other thing is. I'm, I'm clearly channeling. So, uh, but it's commitment combined with your, your will. That's what it is. That's what the second one was. Yay, we love channeling. Uh, it's commitment combined with will. So you commit to doing something and then you put one foot in front of the other, no matter what. If something knocks you down, you get back up. If something blows you off course, you get back on course. If something makes you tired, you take a nap, you get back up, right? All of these things, it, it's all about perseverance. It's all about stepping forward into what's coming next. And, uh, you know, it's outcome be damned, right? It's just like, nope, we're doing this. Come hell or high water, we are doing this. And when you can commit to things at that level, that's when you become truly magical. This is the thing. Magic is a function of your will and your ability to focus your intent and to commit to that path. And when you can do those things with a powerful intent, with a come hell or high water attitude, when you will persevere no matter what, you tell the universe to move and get out of your way because you're going there no matter what. And when you do that, things happen, right? The universe listens. It goes, oh, she's serious about this. Okay, let's get on board because otherwise we're going to get run over and I'm not getting run over. Are you getting run over? No, I'm not getting run over either. Okay, let's get on board. All right, everybody to your stations. Let's make this happen, right? That's what perseverance does for you. That's what your intent does for you. When you refuse to give up, when you are committed to a path, that's when the universe lines up. So what are you committed to today? What are you refusing to give up on? What are you persevering on and telling the universe, get in line, get on board, or I will run you over? What is it? And if it isn't anything, why not? Why not? Because we established in the last one that you're worthy of it. You deserve it. There's nothing that says that you need somebody else's permission to do it. Why are you not doing it? Why are you not getting what you want? And who is holding the power when you have that thought? Are you in your power or have you handed it to somebody else or something else? Take your power back and see how you feel about it. 
that's my gift for you for today. I'm so proud of you. I thank you for going through that with me. You're doing great out there. Feel good about it. Sign up for the mailing list if you want to hear more. I got all kinds of stuff that comes out. Uh, you can find it at kellysparta.com. All you got to do is either sign up for the webinar about, you know, I've, you're having a spiritual awakening, now what? Or you can do the Boundaries for Empaths download on the website. Either one of them will put you on the web on the uh, mailing list. Or you can sign up for a discovery call around the uh, Inner Peace program. That'll get you on the mailing list too. Or you can scroll to the bottom of the page and just sign up. But, you know, you get, better, you get good stuff with the other stuff. So why not do it that way, right? I like getting free things, right? So I will talk to you next time. Have a great one, guys. Bye.